Hello, this is a demonstration on how to perform basic optical loss testing using just a power meter and a light source. This test is done to determine the amount of loss on the fiber under test by launching light from a source at one end of the fiber and measuring the loss on the other end with a power meter. To ensure the power meter and light source are only measuring loss of the fiber under test, we need first to set a reference. This is to eliminate any loss generated by the test jumpers and connectors used during the test. In today's video, we will show you how to perform a one jumper method. Here is the laser source, power meter, jumpers, and connectors we will use for this demo. Please make sure the jumpers you choose match the fiber type you are about to test. To ensure you don't damage either the test equipment or the fiber under test, you must inspect and clean all connections. To save time, we have inspected and cleaned all connectors prior to filming, except one end of the jumper cable. We recommend always using the ICIC method of inspect, clean, inspect, connect. Here, we will use a focus flex fitted with the appropriate tip to inspect the connector. It failed, so we will dry clean using a one-click cleaner. Then we will inspect it again to ensure it is clean. It passed, so we can connect and start testing. Here is a sample network we are going to be testing today. As you can see, it is a single mode network with some connectors and splices, and there is also a simulated macro bed. First, turn on the light source. If your light source uses a laser, you should turn it on at least 15 minutes before you reference. Warming up the laser ensures stable transmission. You can turn it on before you start cleaning and inspecting all the connectors to give it time to warm up. Next, turn on the power meter. Once the light source is warmed up, plug the reference jumper into the light source and the other end to the power meter. Set your light source to the wavelength you will be using to test your network. In this case, we selected the CW wavelength of 1550 nanometers. You can confirm your selection by checking the indicator on the light source. Next, press the set ref button on the power meter you'll notice that the power meter reading of dB becomes zero. Now you are ready to test. It is important to note that once the reference is done, do not disconnect the reference jumper from the light source. Now, unplug the reference jumper from the power meter and plug it into one end of the fiber under test. Bring the power meter to the other end of the fiber under test, making sure you inspect and clean that connection and connect to the fiber under test you will see the loss on your power meter screen. That's it, you're done. Thanks for watching today's video.